Hello you puppets on strings, strings, Jim Sterling here, and this is The Moon Sliver. It's an exploration slash horror game, from what I've heard. So, we're going to play it, that's what we're going to do. It's by David Zimanski. I said that. Click the title to begin. The Moon Sliver is intended to be completed in a single setting and there's no save system. So just you set aside an hour? I'm going to be here for an hour? Oh no. Come on! I've got to be here for an hour. Hurry this up, slow fade. I kind of broke my coffee. Wazzed. Wads? It's wazzed. Space, jump, uh, right mouse button, toggle flashlight, left mouse, interact, examine. Okay, here we go. Is there any punishment for using this? Doesn't look like it. The moon sliver. Isa was the oldest and if not the wisest, certainly the most learned. She remembered when Josiah still lived and she would sit on this crate and listen to his stories. Those memories, like so many others, were bittersweet. Holy shit, the crate gets a backstory. Daniel was a quiet man who spent his life lost in the books of old or lost in his own thoughts. He wondered where the barrels had come from and who had put them there. Hmm. Chair. The crate gets a backstory of people sitting on it, and the chair doesn't. Well then. Oh, there we are. Recharged at power outlets. Okay. So we do have power to deal with. Yesterday, four people lived on this island. Now only one remains. Okay. Is that a here over there. No. Something submerged. Fuck it. We'll go this way. So this is, um, I think the, the RRP on this one, or the MSRP on this one, is like three bucks. So. Affordable. If that's what you're into. God damn it! Power station for the flashlight there, I'm guessing. I say guessing as if that was some feat of intellect. <laughs> the moon sliver. They reached the ruins and strolled at leisurely through them toward the shoreline. Isa could remember when the old buildings still stood here, filled with families. I'm sorry, he said, and he cried, because he often cried during these talks. For what, she said. For a lot of things. And these conversations were not new... Uh, these conversations were not new... Long there we are, fade it improperly. These conversations were not new. Long ago, Isa had learned to love Abel, despite and for his dependency. She hugged him as the wind tossed her long grey hair around. It's my narrator voice, if there are any uh, game developers watching and, and feel like hiring me to be a narrator for their game, or a narrator. Oh. Things are getting dark there. Uh, uh, bah! Oh, hello. Isa kept a smile on her face, although she did not feel like smiling. Daniel, you're the last one I gave the key to, said I, sir. And Daniel stared at the mysterious control panels. He didn't meet her eyes. He never met anyone's eyes. I didn't take it, she said. Why would I take it? I'm the one that told you it was missing. Okay. The rusted junk cast shadows on the opposite wall. How do you know? I got bored of that voice. How do you know Abel didn't take it, he said, because I trust him, she said. He's a dismal man, but he would never hurt any of us. Do you trust Ellie? Daniel didn't answer immediately. I trust all of you, he said, because that's how we have to live. Okay. Not a... There we go. Outside the flashlight. What about Ellie? Has Ellie mentioned anything to you? She said she didn't take it either. He said, nor did I. Nor did Abel. And yet it's gone. Oh. 
I'm saying that she knows more than she's telling us, said Ellie. Okay, weird. Sorry, I just said the, the game just booted me into the desktop. Still running. Uh, anyway, my problem is that she's a liar, said Ellie angrily, fiddling with the knobs on the, <laughs> on the machine as she paced around, and that I have to keep explaining this to you over and over again. You don't know her like I know her. Exactly, you're not an impartial judge, he said. What is your problem with I, Sir Daniel said, putting his book down. He was annoyed at being interrupted here, etc. Alright. She keeps the chapel locked and she's the only one with a key, said Ellie, leaning on the barrels and folding her arms. So you're saying she took it, he said. What the fuck is all this? When's the horror of it gonna happen? The mysterious liquid has drained from the tank and into the water long ago. Alright. What are these trees? What's their story? This place was a forest once. A damp tangle of trees and foliage. Free to run wild and unkempt. Oh yeah, that shit's running wild right there. see what's going on in the mountain if it's not locked of course come back when night falls okay you got it buddy the night was wild and cold the monstrous tracks leading from the hatch were brand new but the wind quickly erased them is it night now then or did that just happen when I came over here? Yeah, the night was wild and cold. So I guess it's not technically night yet. Do -do. Okay. Abel read to escape. Daniel read to feed his lofty, strange thoughts. Isa read to pass the time. But Ellie, as far as Abel knew, she hadn't opened a book in years. What did she do all day? He didn't know. Sometimes he worried about her. He worried about all of them. Were they melancholy as he was? There is evil man. Oh, sorry. An evil man on this island, and I know him well. We played together as youths. We have cried together. We have eaten together. We have loved the same women, betrayed the same women. He is my constant companion and my worst enemy. He puppets my arms, legs, and mouth to his own selfish ends, and secretly hurts everyone I love as I watch, helpless with their un unched, unfelt, oh, unshed, why did I read that as unched, unshed, unfelt blood on my hands, he gifts my flesh with indescribable pleasures, blights my soul with unutterable despair, his name is Sin, and we are irrevocably bound together, surely there exists no hell worse than this, Ooh, moody, uh, they can make more candles, they couldn't make more wood, so I will burn candles, okay, Gotta do something to pass the time on Fun Island, I guess. Alright, what's going on in here? Anything? Oh, here we go. What were you doing? What were you and Abel doing at his house yesterday while I was climbing the mountain? He answered, casually flipping through the book on our table. It was covered in dust. Right. None. Oh, there we go. Abel often visited Daniel. He loved to talk, and Daniel loved to listen. I saw and I were out for a walk, said Abel as he entered. I thought I'd stop by before you got caught up in a book. Daniel put his book down. Hello, he said, his expression confused Abel. Good. One more. Isaac could not talk to Abel about her feelings because Abel was overburdened with his own, so she often sat at her desk and wrote. She did not know who would ever read her papers, but there was something profound about preserving thoughts, so that something, something, live around, have a good time. Okay. Right, yeah.
Okay. Well, it certainly looks like evening has fallen. We've got a key in uh, two locked doors that I know of. Some sort of mountainous path here. Just grab my coffee. Right, what's this? Is that a charging station? Up here randomly in the mountain. <clears throat> Why not? Is that it? Daniel carefully made his way along the ridge. He knew what Ellie and Abel were doing. He'd known for a long time and had decided to ignore it. Something that was becoming increasingly difficult to do. He reminded himself that they all four had to trust each other and rely on each other, as he had done so many times before, but it was a hollow reminder and he didn't really believe it anymore. Alright. I'm at the top. I was hoping there'd at least be a Mario 64 star there. What the fuck? Really with that? That's a, the most disorienting attempt at a nighttime effect I've ever seen. Maybe I shouldn't be up here. Come on, there we go. Yeah, you could do it. Boink! Okay. Oh. No, okay. Let's see if it's sufficiently night for the mountain door. Nope. Okay. Well, there's another locked door. Near the beginning, wasn't there? <coughs> Excuse me. To do more than a feeling, and something else is good. Acidic smell from the pipe, and why not? Okay, should be this building here. Yep. Daniel was still thinking about his talk with Abel the day before as he absentmindedly picked the book up. Something caught his eye, or rather the lack of something. The moon sliver was gone. He stared at the empty dais for some time, struggling to comprehend this simple... Comprehend this simple shocking fact. Had someone moved it? Isa, perhaps? She was the only one with a key to the Chapel of Infinite Light. But Ellie or Abel could have borrowed it from her, as he had done, or taken it. Regardless, he had to tell the others. The word of Hector for. Again, the moon came to Hector in a dream. The woodland teeth is vanquished, it said. Your people are safe for now. Doing the voice again. But it still waits, lurking in the depth. They appear again while the holy document remains in your possession. But know this. Should the moon sliver ever be destroyed, even my divine light will not be able to save you from the wrath of the woodland teeth and the darkness of hell. Keep it safe, keep it ready, and may you live in prosperity on this island that I have given you. Let your prosperity be a sign that the words I speak are true. Okay. Is that it? Alright, that's it, alright. I'm gonna guess it's night time when we go out. Uh, oh yeah, it's night time. Oh, we know what we're doing now. 
We'll uh, keep the light off for the moment, keep things preserved. We're old. Oh, I said something. I feel like I miss life. Like it whizzed right by while I wasn't looking, and I'm watching it disappear into the horizon, stuck in this prison. Oh, come on, she said. Look at the water. Isn't it beautiful? It's lonely, he said. Lonely and infinite. Here we go. Pow, 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 pow. Come back when night falls. What is this if not night? How much night does it need to be night? Where the fuck do I go now? I mean, I guess maybe there's some stuff I haven't done yet. I mean, that's the beginning. Seems going over here yonder. It's the four houses. All right. I'm not entirely sure what y'all want from me now. Oh god, who cares? 